Takancha has a long history of adaptation, innovation, and perseverance. We're known for listening to the needs of our customers, identifying opportunities, and tackling challenges head on. We're made of people who never settle for less and do what it takes to deliver premier products every single day. This is the history of Takancha Engineering, the leader in electric trailer braking for 50 years. In 1964, Jim Meluish started a metal tool and stamping business in Detroit, Michigan. Seeking a less expensive facility and a town filled with loyal, hardworking people, Mr. Meluish moved the business to the small city of Tecancha, a move that proved to be one of the best decisions in the company's history. The 60s were a decade of transition and hope for a brighter tomorrow. Many Americans found their escape in outdoor recreation as car camping and life on the road began to boom. Mr. Meluish saw value in this growing trend and began to develop and manufacture various parts for this thriving industry. That RV parts business became known as Takancha Engineering. In the mid-1960s, Takancha helped to revolutionize towing by developing hydraulic brake controls that allowed trailers to brake slightly before the brakes of the car. The effectiveness of hydraulic brake controls became so popular and consistent that they were ultimately required by law. This sent Takancha's sales skyrocketing. In 1976, automotive parts supplier Eklund Incorporated purchased Takancha and the company continued to thrive. The company continued the development of its patented line of brake controls with the introduction of the 2030 Mark 12 and the 2035 Mark 24. Weathertronic, Takancha's first trailer-mounted electric brake control, helped Takancha change the face of the trailer braking industry forever. During the 80s and 90s, Takancha's ingenuity and innovation prevailed. Proportional brake controls Commander and Voyager were developed, using sensors that were half the size and twice as effective as earlier models. In 1993, Takancha added AccuTrack, an inertia-sensitive control that sensed the stopping motion of the vehicle. In 1994, Takancha and Eklund purchased well-known RV supplier Bargeman. Then, the following year, released a new dash-hugging and ergonomic brake control called Sentinel. During the same year, the company grew again as it acquired Surepool Towing Systems, a trailer hitch manufacturer. And in July of 1998, automotive supply giant Dana Corporation took note of Takancha's success and purchased the company. This was also the year Takancha's popular brake control Envoy was introduced and its hydraulic line of controls retired. Entering the new millennium, the increasing complexity of tow vehicles and the advent of even heavier trailers created demand for even more effective and efficient trailer braking. In 2001, Prodigy, the company's flagship proportional brake control system was developed, bringing an easy to understand yet highly efficient solution to customers. This was also the year we forged a relationship with the Ford Motor Company to provide an OEM in-dash solution. This relationship continues today. Included in two more acquisitions, Hammerblow Towing Systems in 2002 and current owners Sequent, the Takancha brand continued to adapt and innovate, listening to the needs of its customers. Proportional brake controller Primus was developed in 2004 and in December of 2006, P3, Takancha's breakthrough proportional brake control, took braking innovation to a whole new level. P3 continues to remain the industry's most advanced aftermarket electric trailer brake control available. Over the past 50 years, the Takancha brand has achieved international status and its products are available throughout the world. Takancha credits its success to its visionary leaders of yesterday and today, and more importantly, to its loyal customers. We would like to thank you for your help in making the last 50 years a tremendous success. Life's a journey. Stop often 